Have you ever seen a perfect hexagon occur naturally? On Earth, precise hexagonal shapes are usually man-made. But astonishingly, Saturn has a massive hexagon on its North Pole visible from space. What could possibly be creating this profound pattern on a gas giant planet over 890 million miles away from us? Well, scientists have theorized, and the explanation for Saturn's mystery hexagon will blow your mind. What's even more baffling about Saturn's hexagon is that this cyclone is wider than two Earths. Can you even imagine a storm even bigger than our entire planet swirling around Saturn's North Pole? Stay tuned as we dive deep into this cosmic puzzle, uncovering what forces of physics could be generating Saturn's otherworldly geometric storm, and why there's no weather quite like it in our solar system. Trust me, by the end you'll be just as awestruck as astrophysicists are by this crazy hexagonal hurricane. To start getting to the bottom of this mystery, first we need to take in just how incredibly massive in size this vortex truly is. Spanning roughly 20,000 miles in diameter, Saturn's hexagon is utterly gigantic. To put that into perspective, that would be like having a hexagonal hurricane stretching from New York to Los Angeles. Now, I don't think they're experiencing 20 mile per hour winds inside this storm as we do in tropical cyclones on Earth. In fact, scientists believe the winds swirling inside this hexagon may reach up to 330 miles per hour. That's over four times as fast as a Category 5 hurricane. And would you believe this mega storm has been churning for decades? The Voyager spacecraft first captured images of Saturn's elusive hexagon back in 1981. So this bizarre vortex has withstood the test of time. But the question still remains, how can a near-perfect geometric shape emerge within a raging hurricane on Saturn? Well, to comprehend how Saturn's North Pole hexagon materialized, first we need to illustrate a pretty complex principle known as the jet stream theory. I should warn you, things are about to get a tad technical from here, but stick with me because I promise understanding the science is worth it. Essentially, jet streams are strong currents of fast-flowing air high up in a planet's atmosphere, often shaped by the rotation of that planet. Now, what's crucial to note is that Saturn is basically a gigantic ball of rotating fluids and gases. Similar to Jupiter's faster spin, this rapid rotation, combined with Saturn's incredible surface area, seems to spawn powerful polar jet streams blasting circumferentially at hundreds of miles per hour around the planet's north and south poles. But here's the truly puzzling piece. While mapping these regions, astronomers uncovered that Saturn's northern jet streams consistently remain fixed at six peaks around the hexagon, while also flowing at much faster velocities than neighboring streams. I know it may be tough to visualize, but essentially, picture winds circulating around the outside of the hexagon at, say, 100 miles per hour, while within the hexagon, they scream at over 300 miles per hour. This stark change in wind speed would be like a river suddenly flowing 10 times faster on one side of the bank compared to the other. But how could such a defined difference manifest within Saturn's high-altitude flows? Well, researchers now posit that this anomaly was actually created from Saturn's super jet streams interacting with one another as these huge ribbon-like bands of air converge together around the planet's north pole. Where these churning currents collide, turbulence from the jets may have formed sharp angular patterns that evolved into a stable hexagonal flow over time. And while winds just outside this structure tore along at lower velocities, within this boundary they accelerated tremendously, but not so fast. Turbulence alone likely doesn't account for Saturn's eerily perfect hexagon sides. For that, we may need to introduce a wild weather phenomenon known as Rossby waves. First discovered back in 1939 by meteorologist Carl Gustav Rossby, these planeta, Rye waves are basically meanders in the strong jet streams encircling Earth and other spinning worlds. Picture them as huge arching air swells that travel longitudinally downwind against the westerly flow. But under certain conditions, Rossby waves can morph into unusual oscillatory patterns. And computations indicate that resonance from such waves radiating outward against one of Saturn's zipping nitrogen jets could have amplified, ultimately forging this flawless hexagonal vortex border. The point is, a confluence of extreme atmospheric factors seem to have spawned this radical hexagon exclusively on Saturn. 
from intensely high wind behavior colliding over the North Pole to resonances stemming from unique Rossby wave frequencies found within the planet's eastward jets, no place else in the solar system exhibits quite the right recipe for such an uncanny polygonal storm. The bizarre truth is the gas giant planets like Saturn and Jupiter create weather phenomenon so alien compared to Earth's. From superstorms fit for a king to dancing hurricane clusters wider than entire continents, the outer worlds are rife with extreme meteorological marvels. So in closing, I hope you feel as awestruck as I do, now better understanding just how Saturn's hexagon emerged. Planetary scientists admit exact details elude, but the secrets this mega vortex could still hold about Saturn's perplexing environment could prove profound. Before signing off, I want to thank anyone out there taking time to watch this video today. Putting together productions like this involves tons of editing and research for the team. So if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe and be sure to like the video to support future cosmic mysteries for us to uncover.